Next up in our local NFL draft preview, a hometown hero out of Layton High School, Julian Blackman, a three-year starter and All-American as a senior. And Scott, it was interesting. We saw him play cornerback most of his career, but he had to make a switch as a senior, didn't he? Yeah, and that was the tough part for Julian. And there were a lot of growing pains. And I have to tell you, JJ, I was, I was nervous. Yeah. I was really nervous. The first three games of the season, you know, non-conference, he didn't really get tested. And then all of a sudden, Utah goes to USC and, and, and you saw how hard the position change was. And, and I was really, really concerned. Okay, so here's the first play. And, and of course, Julian is right, is right here. And, and the quarterback, you know, does a run fake and then throws the ball down the field. And of course, Julian uh, misses everything. And that was early on in the season. And this was the third string quarterback for USC. Came in the game, but this is how it's even worse than this. He drops back, he's staring at yeah. the receiver the whole time, which is like a no-no, right? It's a no-no. And, and a good defensive back will eat that up and should be, he should be all over this play. And then if you see Julian running to the ball, he's running towards the ball instead of coming into the ball. And so he, he was just completely out of place and not in a good position. And then he doesn't play the ball in the air. And that's what you want to see. He just, he just missteps it not used to it, and, and that was painful. And that hurt Utah, and it was really this. It was just guys learning how to play the right position. Now, USC has amazing talent. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a Pittman's baptism. Pittman's getting drafted. Right. It's a baptism by fire. Yeah, Pittman, I would throw it to Pittman, yeah. right? It's, <laughs> I could. It, yeah. <laughs> it's a baptism by fire when you go to USC. Tough, yeah. tough deal. But here's the cool part about all this, right? is you see that early on, and, and after that game, I'm like, oh, my goodness, like Utah's season is over because yeah. it was ugly. Everyone was concerned. Ugly, really bad. And then he makes a change, and, and, it, and this is one of the things that I really like about what he does. So, so Julian, uh, and this is a hard play to defend because there's a lot of things. It looks like it's re reverse, right? A lot of people chase the reverse, and here's Julian in position to make the play. Discipline. Very different than from before. Look, we've even highlighted him. There he is. And, and you're seeing all this stuff go on. Where, where is everything? Okay. And he stays back. He stays home. And you see how he's getting depth? Yeah. And I know it's not all the depth, but, he, but it's, it's, it's a enough. rule. It's enough. It's a simple rule. Yeah. Stay behind the deepest guy, right? And he does. And then, boom, he comes up and he makes a play on the ball in the air. Huge, huge improvement. Against an NFL quarterback. And, and a, right. And this Washington, too. I mean, yeah. it's, not, it's not chump change here. So, so when you get a guy who's made a position change, can he, can he make the change? Can he make the transition? Do you see improvement? USC was the first conference game of the year. I was concerned. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is going to be terrible. And the next week, Utah plays Washington State, who's a <laughs> spread offense, you know, yeah. and who gives Utah fits. And I thought, it's going to be an ugly night. Julian Blackman made the transition literally the next week. Okay? Wow. Now, Here's another thing. Quarterback's looking down the field, makes a long throw. Julian Blackman is in position. And this was the next week. Right? This is right after the USC game. He's in position. Again, the quarterback's kind of looking where he's going to throw the ball. Julian, who is wide on the play, comes down the field and makes a play on the ball. So uh, the guy shows range. And that's what you want from a free safety, a guy who actually stays deep, plays the, up to the ball, not chasing it from behind, and who can actually show you that he can make plays because all the safeties at Utah showed an ability. You know, Marquise Blair and Marcus Williams showed that ability. Yeah. He's got that ability. All right, so here's the biggest key for you. Defense is about making plays. Like, you want playmakers, right? Yeah. It's all about making a play. So here's Julian Blackman. This is fourth down and goal in the open field, makes an open field tackle. See him right here? He's on the, on the right hash. Of course, he's guarding the back out of the backfield, uh, who's a really good running back. And he, he comes from, I mean, left field, makes a tremendous play, tremendous stop, stops a drive, no points, right? So when you're a coach, you go, I want a guy that makes plays. And then here's another one. Okay, when a quarterback extends a play, and I'm telling you, this was extended for about four minutes. Well, no, we're going to still play. It's still open. Most defensive guys <laughs> leave their guy, yeah. right? They just leave their guy. He had enough presence to stay back, stay home. Everything there said he's going to run the ball. Quarterback last second. Of course, this is up in the air. Julian Blackman comes back to the ball, makes a great play on the ball. It's a huge thing when you turn the ball over. 
Like it's, it's one thing to knock the ball down. Julian Blackman, time after time this year, made plays, and they, and, he, and they were big turning point plays for Utah this year on defense. So we saw his transition with the position and how successful that was, but then in the championship game, he has an ACL injury. I mean, brutal. How can he overcome this? Is this going to be a problem for him? Oh, man, it was, it was tragic because at, at the time of the championship game, and I think it had as big a factor and impact to Utah not playing well yeah. as anything because he was playing really good football. He was one of those elite safeties from the University of Utah, and he really showed – I mean, he was impressive to me in that he made the transition. And not only did he make it, but he was like a top-flight player in the conference. I mean, he was one of the best players. He was an All-American. He, he, right, he, to me, he's a guy like Chase Hansen. Like a team, it's, if they're smart and savvy and they see all of these things, they go, this guy can play. We may pick him up late. We may pick him up as a non-drafted free agent. And we're going to have a little bit of patience with this guy because he's a guy who definitely can play in the NFL. He's got the skill set. No question. That. Absolutely. All right, Scott, thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank right. you. We got more next week.